All right, and welcome to a special Christmas Day edition of the Snack Play Love Rare Magic videos. Um, today, it's quite late on Christmas Day here in the UK, and the store is terrible. So what are we going to purchase? Well, the thing is, I didn't bother getting the pass this year, and I am on level 120. I'm just trying to get the volume in my headset a little bit more sane. There we go. Otherwise, every time I click on something, I become deaf. Now, the mastery tree is fairly standard. You earn things, you get ticks as you go along. But if you don't already have the mastery pass, you don't get given all of these wonderful, wonderful toys. So in theory, if you wait till um, much later in the season, season's basically over because there's just this one set of things before the infinite loop so i have 10 levels to go i could wait until it's maxed but as it's just orbs and gems they're not very interesting if i click on lock mastery pass now it really doesn't know how to show me me all there they're all here at the bottom but let us fill the screen with christmas day craziness this isn't the super expensive version with the extra levels is it no i think this is fine boom are we sure we have twenty thousand gems I think we can manage this. Merry Christmas! So now we've got a pet. We're not fussed about the pet, we've got Tilt the Dog, it's fine. I am Zendikar's one true guardian. She's Zendikar's one true guardian. We've got the sleeves that I quite like. The sleeves that, oh no, they're fairly flashy. They do stuff. Got another draft token to go with the one we got yesterday. We've got 800 gems back straight away, so it only costs us 2,600 gems. I know there's more gems left. I've got a bit of gold for a draft. We won't apply it. We like Sahili Rye better. We have some emotes. Some more emotes. Even more emotes. Packs galore, which we will open. We will open those momentarily. Uh, 20 packs. Some ICRs. Are these any good? Um, and a Shire. One side lion's fine. So nothing too exciting. And we've got Miria's Call, that's useful, being a flip round. Uh, Teferi, use that in a deck at the moment. May put an extra copy in because of that. We've got a Scourge. Uh, is that three Seagate Stormcallers? What? That's very confusing. And in the hearing. Yeah, there was a three under that. It's like we've got three copies of the card. Weird. Um, so these are the cosmetics that we have been missing for our draft decks. Um, you can almost call them, I don't know, <clears throat> signpost cosmetics. In that, um, I mean, not that one. Most of these commons and uncommons, if you see the cosmetic ones in the draft, you know that that's wizard saying, this is actually a reasonable limited card, guys. Maybe pick it up. <laughs> proof. So yeah, this, these are all playable things. Gloom Hunter is fabulous. I mean, the rares it doesn't apply to, but um, oh, we've got the art for the flip cards. Truly, it is Christmas Day. Yeah, see, there's some things that. Why is that not flipping? Hmm. I didn't realise he was in there. Excellent. Oh, 20 things. <laughs> That's quite cool. This off consumption one. Ah, oh, the band in the new event. There was a FNM today, which I immediately to owed, which was hilarious, with a green, black, and white recursion deck. Will it suggest? We don't have to click all over the shop now. Look at us cashing in our mastery pass. I should probably let them come up, shouldn't I? Uh, so now we've got even more cosmetics. I have to presume that um, the final 10 levels will be required to actually actively finish the pass. Oh, 
Yeah, we'll let you do that. I'm guessing it won't let you... Um... You can double-click them to do it, so I'll just do that. Ready for term timber. See, this, these will pretty up some decks, but um, again, some of these lower on commons, I think, are more about this card is playable in limited formats. I mean, bad choice to highlight the Maliki Rebirth when I'm saying that, because that's one of the only ones that actually played in the standard deck. As is traditional, completing the Sulfire maps, which is why I didn't like to auto populate because these are things that actually go in decks. There should just be a complete all I waited and evolved. <laughs> Have we got any of the white ones? Um, and we'll just finish this, leave the one. Removal is solid. Because red and white are often my splash colours, I have been using the red flip card quite a lot, but um let's watch the white one. I have a massive suspicion that this will be ridiculous with the Norse set seeming to care about uh, tokens of creatures and copying tokens, but We've only seen a few cards so far. Um, I guess we can only open these one at a time. I've got most of these sets anyway. Oh look, planeswalkers! Oh dear me. Double mythic. This is what happens if you've got most of the rares in the set. We do have two draft tokens now. Which Claw Talisman, I love it when my opponents play that because it guarantees that I'm probably going to win. Vengeance. Considering Throne of Old Rain had a lot of broken cards in it, um, I haven't opened any. Not really fussed about the commons and the uncommons at this point. I should have complete sets of those. Yeah, yeah. Getting stuff. Storm Herald goes in a deck. Ordinarily, I'd open these in tens because it's less annoying, but um, we don't have that option. Unless we were to magically double the pass somehow. It's been a while since I've opened these older sets. It's um, interesting. I'm surprised by how many of the Theros cards have actually stuck around in decks that I've played. So this will fill in a few gaps for me. Labyrinth is quite good. To 33.7. The courier I drafted a lot. Bonders. And I thought I'd have got four of those from draft. Magistrate. Very something I would likely pass. Tomatoes. At the start of the set, those were coming really frequently in draft because nobody thought you'd ever get to cast them in limited, but um, I was short on a salt I tried. That can't be right. Maybe I only went up to three of those. Oh god. Another five percent. It's pretty cool. Try opening a corset. So spiders play them. These are fine, but again, we've probably got those. I like Spark Hunter. If they do another planeswalker every set with that in standard, then um, the price on that will spike. But um, for me that's less of an issue because I'm mostly only playing arena now. Another temple. Does that mean I finished them all? If I finished all the cards in the set, this will also be a temple, but I don't think I have. No? But again, it's one of the cards that cropped up today. I'm tempted to keep the Zendikar Rising because I'm still drafting that set actively. Panharmonica. First blossoming event. Glenn, it's cool. 
yeah i'm not going to bother opening eight packs of zendi colonizing everybody's seen that set it is the current set um before i was going to in fact yeah, let's have a look see what we can do packs one pack two pack i don't do this very often it must be christmas Boom. Less effort. So, we've got another scar, Scourge of the Sky Sclaves. Um, surprised I haven't got a place out of those yet. Uh, things that people take before you in draft. That's what the theme of these boosters are. So, three mythics in ten cards because I have massively taken rares in draft. Um, we've got a nice mythic wild card taking us up to 46, which puts us in a good place for the new set that isn't anywhere near starting to come yet. Pardon me, we've got a couple of premium drafts to do, which I might do on the channel. We'll see. I've mostly been playing with the laptop while I'm watching the TV, and ain't no way I'm talking to you guys while we're doing that. Track cube ends. That must mean the Tinker Cube's coming soon. That might be something nice to film. Anyway, um, I know one person who might watch this, but other than that, I suspect it will just be me. But hopefully somebody found a little bit of value in seeing what happens when you open the Mastery Pass right at the end. You miss out on nothing. If you um, happen to stop playing and only get to about level 40, you could happily give up on the pass and not bother spending the cash. But for me, I think it was a little bit worth it. I'd done most of the things. Now all I have to do is use the two draft um, tokens, I think they are, that I've got. One from the shop yesterday for Christmas Day and one from the past today on actual Christmas Day to try and recoup those gems and then I'll be in a good position for the new set which is in the new year so have a good Christmas if it is still Christmas where you are and otherwise go away bye